United States will approve both Pfizer and Moderna for kids under 5 in a day or so. This is not a medical advice. I'm not a pediatrician and I don't have kids under 5. I love those days when my kids were under 5. They were kind of cute and they also listened to me occasionally. If I had kids under 5, I will go with the Moderna vaccine right away. Moderna is using, Moderna is a two-dose series. Pfizer is a three-dose series. Pfizer is using out of abundance of caution. They are using only one-tenth of the adult dose. And that's why they are requiring three doses. Moderna is using one-fourth of the adult dose. I think Moderna used the same trick when the vaccines were rolled out for adults. They used the higher dose than that was required. I think that led to few of the cases of myocardial inflammation in the adolescents. But they also had better efficacy. Had Moderna used lower dose in the beginning of the pandemic, we would have had millions of more doses. But what's done is done. So Moderna will only require two doses. Pfizer is claiming that their Moderna will end up requiring a third dose, like a booster two. But they may require, that is in the future. And if at all a Moderna booster is required, the booster will be adjusted against Omicron, which Moderna is already coming out with. That's why I'll go with Moderna. The efficacy data for Pfizer with three doses for the kids is little too good to be true. So I don't think it is true. It, it, I don't think it will be 80% efficacious with three doses. That just doesn't make any kind of sense. So Moderna, two doses. That's what I would do for kids under five. And I would do it right away. What about parents in India? Those who have kids under five. Don't worry for two reasons. One is, India is not going to allow it to come. I Means we tried during the beginning of the pandemic. I was saying that, hey, those Indian those Indians who believe in American CDC have the money, have the willingness, want to take the risk and want to take other vaccines, let them take it. I would recommend the same for Indian parents. But I don't think the government or whatever, they won't let it happen. They will say that we are coming with our own mRNA, uh, kids don't need it, this and that. And, or they will come up with some excuses that we don't have cold storage, we don't have transport, we don't have kids, something. But they will not let it so don't get too disappointed like if you have money welcome to Pennsylvania like we have required uh, we have lifted the test requirement and United States can use every tourism dollar that can come to us be that as it may one good thing also for Indian parents is India might be the safest place on the earth at least till October 2023 or at least foreseeable future because of India's undoubtedly spectacular vaccination drive and the level of the natural disease immunity. So India might be the safest place in the world right now. The world over, kids and adolescents are not vaccinated. The vaccine for kids over five was approved in US months ago, but hardly 30% kids are vaccinated. In one survey in California, we think only 20% of the eligible kids under five, between six months and five, are going to take the vaccine. So the question that all of us should be asking is this large swath of population, the kids and the adolescents, they are exposed, they have no protection. What if they get COVID, it spreads into them, a replicating virus can mutate, and it will come up with another fearsome mutation and this starts all over again. And that would be argument for taking the vaccine. The argument against taking the vaccine would be these vaccines in kids against Omicron variants are not able to prevent disease anyway. They are only preventing serious disease. So this logic that taking the vaccine will prevent the replication and catching of the disease doesn't hold water. If you look at the data, Pfizer is 28% effective for kids under 5 with 2 doses and up to 80% effective with 3 doses. I think that 80% data will turn out to be wrong. Moderna 
is 51% effective between kids ages 6 months to 2 years and about 37% effective from 2 years to 5 years. That seems more realistic. So just taking the vaccine is not going to prevent the disease from coming or spreading. So what to do? I think the answer is really simple. If you are a parent, you just calculate mathematically the risk of taking the vaccine against the risk of kid catching COVID and getting seriously ill. And whichever risk is lower, you go with that. Most scientists, most doctors will go ahead with taking the vaccine. When you have kids under five, there are two things. One is good, one is bad. The good thing is the kids grow up. And the bad thing is the kids grow up. Dr. Ravi Godse.